This video uh, is going to include Ember over there playing Tux Cart. Hi, Ember. Hi. Okay. So I just wanted to post this video just in case anyone comes across the same problem or a similar problem that I'm having right now, or was having. I just solved it. So I'm working on someone's computer here, and it keeps powering down like that. Now, occasionally I was able to get it to boot into Linux or into Windows 7, which is on the system. And once you got it up and running, it was running fine. You could run it forever without any problems. But then you restart it, and it keeps turning off like this. You could try hitting uh, F2 or F12 to get into the BIOS settings, or to uh, get to a boot menu. And um, still the same problem. So it, I didn't think it was the hard drive or the RAM high ember um, that was causing the problem, since uh, it seemed to be crashing before that stuff. Hi again, Ember. <laughs> and um, so, but I still figured I'd try removing those things. So yeah, Ember got the screwdriver and we flipped over the computer. So I removed the hard drive, same problem. I removed each stick of RAM one at a time, then tried moving both. And I even popped out the, uh, the CMOS battery to see if uh, that would reset stuff. Still having the same problem. I went into the BIOS and I, uh, again, that took me a while to do because it would reset before I could even get into that. Uh, and I was still having the same problem. I was ready to give up. I figured it was some internal electrical thing. I also, well, actually, the very first things I tried was um, unplugging the power cable, seeing if that was shorting it out. I also tried removing the battery and only having the power cable. Still the same problem. So I was ready to give up. But I sat here and thought, okay, so this is, this is obviously happening while BIOS is happening. Uh, I reset all the defaults, went and changed some stuff, still same problem. What does BIOS do? It loads up all your drives, and I tested the hard drive, and oh wait, there's another drive that I wasn't accounting for. So one screw and a little pull, and I got the CD-ROM drive out. And once I do that, lo and behold, the computer continues to boot, no problem. So it was the CD-ROM drive shorting out the computer. There was no disk in there, it wasn't even getting to the point where I was trying to boot from it. It was just checking it, and I, after, pull, <laughs> after pulling it out, uh, I've rebooted a number of times, besides the fact that Windows 7 seems to take three or four minutes, or maybe even a little bit more just to boot, which I don't think is uncommon. Um, the computer's booting just fine. Uh, so yeah, so I just wanted to point that out. I, I was completely overlooking the CD-ROM drive because barely ever really used these anymore. So just wasn't on my my thought uh, process when I was troubleshooting this, but it was obviously what was causing the problem. And now their computer is working just fine besides the fact that it has Windows installed. So, so. I hope you found this video useful. Maybe you came across a similar problem uh, and uh, this might, if you are having the same problem or similar problem, might spark your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There should be a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. Ember, say goodbye. Goodbye.